Well, hey, everybody, how are you doing today? This is Eric Anderson here uh, with a bass and triads little tip. And the tip is this, find yourself a good metronome app, either on your computer or buy a metronome, but definitely work with a metronome as you're trying to get more comfortable with bass and how to work triads around the bass. So today, this little video is just going to be kind of like a tutorial on using the metronome app called Metronome Beats, which is both available on Android and now it's also available on Apple or on the iPhone, excuse me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through this little app and show you the different ways that I use it both uh, when I'm practicing drums and when I'm tra practicing bass. So we're just going to start from the top and we're just going to work our way down and we're going to take a look at the features. <clears throat> so first of all, you know, the nice little fashionable uh, white triangle and the red dot, right? That just tells you to start that you're going to start your metronome. Now, you're not able to hear it right now because I silenced all the clicks that you would normally hear. So this is kind of cool. Maybe all you want to do is hear the first click. Let me get some volume on there. There we go. Maybe you want to hear the first two. How about the first three? How about all four? Now, one of the things that I will do is that if you tap each one of the balls again, notice how you get a different pitch sound on the first click of each measure. I like to use that a lot so I always know where the downbeat or where count number one is at because that makes a that for me makes a world of difference in keeping me oriented to where I'm at in either the exercise or the music that I'm working on. So then you hit that switch again and now it goes off. So as we scroll down here a little bit, uh, as you can see, you can adjust the tempo by one, you can adjust it up by one or you can adjust it down by fives, or you can adjust it up by fives. A couple of other ways you can, re you can set the tempo is just swipe up, swipe down, and you can reset it to wherever you want, or you can use this little graph right here, excuse me, or this little slider right here, and you can just put your finger on there and just slide it over anywhere that you want it to go. Uh, so I wanna get it back to 100 beats a minute because we'll work from there and then we'll kind of go along with it. And you notice here, like if you're, if you're working with sheet music, you notice how as we change the tempo, that the terminology changes at 174 beats a minute, it's, it, would be, it might be written as, as presto, but if you were to go down to 149 beats a minute, uh, then it's vivace, I think is how it's said. If you scroll down a little bit more, you get to Allegro and you keep slowing it down to Moderato. And I want to get back here to 100, which is on Dante. So sometimes you may see a word that describes the tempo and then you get a, a range of, you get a choice from like 120 to 144 beats a minute. Anywhere in that range is good. So as we continue down here, this beats per is that's what that is is beats per measure and it affects how many of these balls are going to be up here uh, as and they're going to define each measure so if you come here and you just tap on that if you wanted to make it five beats per measure then it just <coughs> excuse me two three four five two three four five right if you want to make it three beats a measure then you just set it to three and the interesting thing is you can go all the way to 16 beats a measure if you if you want to but for the time being i'm going to leave it at four now as you come over to here and you get you see this clicks per what that's what that is telling you is that for each beat one two three four you'll hear one two three four up to 16 notes in between each one of these beats so like if I got just one beat going or one click per beat, what you're hearing is just a tempo. But if I add a second one, now what you're going to be hearing is the eighth notes. Three and four and one and two and three and four and. If I were to go to three, then what you would hear is that eighth note triplet kind of feel. 
one and a two and a three and a four and a one, right? And you can like, like the beats per, this one here can also go all the way to 16, uh, although I'm not sure that I can see a reason that you would want to do that, but the ability is there. So we looked at the beats per, which we're leaving at four. We're looking at the clicks per, which is we're leaving at one click uh, per each beat. Now, this is a cool little thing here. If you're listening to a piece of music where it says tap tempo and you're not sure what the tempo is, instead of guessing and wondering and trying to figure it out, all you have to do is just listen to the song and just start tapping right on top of that drum. And so there's the tempo of your song right there. We'll say it's 166 beats a minute. See if I can hold it there. And now it starts to slow down a little bit. And now it's at 136, whatever, right? So just that little tap tempo is a nice tool that you can use to figure out real quick the actual tempo of a song that you should be learning to play the particular piece of music at. Now, the final two things that I want to look at are the two things that I really, really love about this metronome app and personally believe that any metronome app needs to have these two functions or it's not worth having on your phone. Uh, the first one is, this is uh, the one on the left hand side is referred to as the speed trainer or the tempo trainer. And what it enables you to do is that it enables you to set your tempo to increase at a, you know, by a certain amount after so many reps. So first of all, I like to set up this count in where what will happen is it'll click for two bars or eight total clicks and then the speed, then the increase in tempo will start. So how I have this set up is that I'm going to have this increase one, increase one beat per minute after it plays through four bars. So it's going to go from 100 to 101. Now, if you want, you could set it up to where it runs for a certain period of time, like 15 seconds or 60 seconds, which is a minute, 120 seconds, which is two minutes. And then this bottom one here, uh, what this is doing is that it's limiting how fast the, the max tempo that, that you would be able to play at. So if you have it at 130, it'll continue to wind up or to accelerate until it gets to 130 beats per minute, and then it'll hold it right there. It could go all the way up to, see if it, there it goes. Could It can go all the way up to, there it goes. It could go all the way up to 300 beats a minute. So you can set it wherever you want. So let's take a look at how this one works. So again, just as a quick review, we have it set up to increase the, the beats or increase the beats per minute by one beat per minute after every four bars is played. And we're gonna get a two bar count in before the increased tempo functions begins. So you can see that it's on because this is now this circle is highlighted. So now all we have to do is just you hit the switch. Notice here, one, two, ready, go. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, bump, go. And it just jumps up to one beat a minute, or one on one. Three, four, two, bump to one, one on two. Three, one, two, bump, go. One on three, right? So I use this a lot because it's the best way for me to learn things is just to find a tempo that I can consistently play the phrase or the exercise or the rhythm correctly and then lock it on to get on the metronome and then just have the metronome gradually take the tempo up and all that my goal is is to stay on the metronome and just let it wind up all by itself now the other feature that i like to use a lot is this it's this little hourglass that has a line through it right now, which means that it's shut off. But I really love to use this one as well. And what I'll do 
is uh, again just like the other one it's they're both synced up to where they have a two bar count in and what I usually do is that I set this to the stop after and then you can put in how many minutes and how many seconds you want the metronome to run so I've set this thing up for set excuse me for 35 seconds so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the main to the metronome we're going to start the metronome. I'm going to get a two bar count in and it's going to accelerate by one beat per minute every four measures until 35 seconds has elapsed and then it's going to shut itself off. So here we go. Let's see how this works. Two. Oh, what? Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Two. Bump. Go. And you notice how it's monitoring how much timer is remaining down here in the right hand corner. One, two, bump, go. So we have 17 seconds left at 105. One, two, bump, go. Now we have seven seconds left at 106. So we most likely won't finish out. Two and stop. So you notice how it just shuts itself off. Now, typically what I'll do with this is that I'll set this like, uh, as a good example, I'll set this to five minutes and 35 seconds, and I'll do the exact same thing, right? I'll just hit the done switch, go back to it, hit the switch, two, two, ready, go. And now the clock has started and the uh, tempo increase has started as well. And I will literally stay on the metronome like this for five consecutive minutes letting the metronome run itself up. And here's the beauty of it all. I'm gonna stop this right here. The beauty of that is that you can, you can lock yourself onto the metronome and just go for five consecutive minutes and grind out whatever that something is that you're working on. And every time that metronome accelerates a little bit and you hang tough with it, you stay right on, your phrasing is correct, your technique doesn't start to get sloppy because of the speed increase over time. That is by far and away the best way of knowing that you've got it, that you're getting the rhythm, that you're getting the phrase, that you're getting the, the, um, the technique or you know the expression or the articulation or whatever it is that you're working on. That is by far and away one of, that is like my favorite way of building up my skills. Use, use the speed increase and use the clock. Set your clock up to where it runs for a certain period of time. Set your speed increase up to where it bumps up just a little bit. And I'll show you this one last trick with the speed increase. Let's say you get to a tempo where you can almost feel like you're starting to struggle. One of the tricks that I'll do is that I'll leave the time, I'll leave the amount of time the same, like five minutes. But instead of going four bars a minute, I'll go eight bars a minute, which means that I have, I'm going to stay at each tempo for double the amount of time before it bumps up. So now I can just really just kind of zero in on that and make sure that I'm nice and comfortable at that tempo before it bumps up on me. Or you can go to 12 bars or you can go to 16 bars. So you can really manipulate this metronome and you should be able to manipulate, manipulate any metronome app so that it enables you to just keep consistently playing and it can push the tempo up. Or there's a kind of cool thing too, if you want to do this, you can also decrease the tempo and you can set it up in a very similar kind of way and it'll just gradually walk you down slower and slower. And sometimes it's more of a challenge to play slow than it is fast. So it's good to start it at a comfortable tempo and then slowly uh, slow yourself down gradually and just work on your phrasing and just let the notes sing out a little bit longer and get more precise on your exact placement of notes. So this is the Metronome Beats app. It's on an Android. They make it for the Apple as well. There are other apps that are out there. I'm not saying that this is the best one, but I genuinely believe that the two things that a good metronome app need, must have in them is the speed trainer capability where you can either decrease or increase the tempo and 
this this uh, this stop the stopwatch where it runs for either a certain period of time or you can set it up to where it runs for so many bars and then it will shut itself off. So please get yourself a metronome app. <coughs> Excuse me. Spend a lot of time working on the metronome and you will discover quite rather quickly that a metronome is probably one of the best things for telling you that telling you whether you got it or not because when you're putting all your ideas together and you're holding it all together with the metronome and that metronome is accelerating and you're staying with that metronome and not making mistakes that's when you know that you are mastering your craft or whatever that particular uh idea, technique, phrase, whatever the case may be, whatever it is that you're trying to get. If you're working on a metronome, guess what? You're going to wind up getting a lot better because you're spending time on the gnome. So that is it for this, for this video. Uh, please hook me up with some likes and subscribes. If you got any questions, any suggestions, any ideas about triads and bass and music theory and metronomes and things like that, Please hit me up, leave a comment down below, and I will do the best that I can to reply as soon as possible. All right, take care, and I will see you all on the next video.